Hello, and thank you for joining us for our five-minute dosing of the GMP training sessions that we hold for five minutes. And today is going to be really interesting for you. If you're a bigger nerd as I am, you really like to see stuff like what I'm going to show you. And today I'm going to be talking about autoclaves. Uh, oddly enough, we, we used autoclaves for a long time. We clean things with them. Uh, we sterilize with these uh, autoclaves. Yet we really don't see what goes on on the inside of an autoclave. So today I have a real treat for you. What people don't know about an autoclave is really what goes on on the inside. What does it look like? What's happening? You put things on a cart or a tray, you put them in the bag, you put them in there, you hit the go button, it goes, it comes back out, the bag's kind of crinkly, the stuff goes inside the core, or you use it for whatever it is, purpose you use it for, but you really don't have an idea. This video I'm going to show you is really going to underscore the placement and bagging techniques are critical for folks out there that do this, you're going to get a real understanding what this means for you to really follow things and be very compliant with this. So I'm going to show you this video. This is an incredible video. And what this is, our, our team of dedicated GMP experts sat inside the autoclave to take this video. Not, not really, but uh, look at this bag. The pressure inside this autoclave is starting to increase. Look at this. What's going on? Did you have any idea? The bag for this, this bucket that's sitting in there, look at the size of this thing, how big it's getting. You imagine what would be going on now if there were things placed around us, if the lip of that corner of the, the bag there was on something and it was lifting it up, flipped it over or it was just piled on top of each other and these things start spreading around. Look at how big this bag is getting. This is incredible to me sitting here watching this video of just the dynamics that go on inside here. And really right now it's just maintaining that pressure. This, this video will go on. This video, by the way, is about 11 minutes long and I'm not gonna show you all of this. Uh, it just cycles back and forth, but you'll get a really good idea of what, what this thing looks like. It's incredible as it goes back through these cycles. So right here, being pressurized, this is the startup initiation of it. Bag is sitting here. It's been poofed up. It is really maxed out. This thing is being held together. Sealing the corners of the bags or the ends of the bags, really critical from this perspective. You'll understand now the placement of this, sealing things, getting things just properly placed, following that load configuration that you've been uh, given is really key. Now what's happened, vacuums come in. Look at this thing now. It is just absolutely going down, vacuuming this out. It's drawing this thing in. This bag and the plastic in this goes back and forth through several cycles just like this. No wonder these things come out and they're kind of crinkly and look brittle almost because this stuff is going through a lot of cycles, a lot of abuse inside this uh, autoclave. This is what things look like. Now you get a real good feel for what this thing looks like inside here. Now you can see this is coming back. The pressure is being released. And in a minute, you'll see some of this, this coming in, and it'll start pumping in some of the steam in here. here comes the bag is coming back up. Now you can see the steam coming in, that super hot steam. That is a transference of energy from the steam to bacteria. It destroys it. This is why it's so effective in killing things. Look at this bag now. This is really blossomed up from what it was even before. It's going to go back and forth in this cycle time and again and again through this entire cycle. Now you have a pretty good idea why your job in loading and placing and controlling the autoclave uh, uh, prep is really critical for the success. So I will go ahead and continue on with this and 
I, I want to thank you for your interest at this. This to me was really incredible watching this video. And I hope you got something out of it as much as I did. If you're interested in this video or if you're interested in any of the training that we might provide or any other training that we might provide, I've given you uh, a myriad of uh, connections that you might be able to get a hold of us here, depending on your particular need. Certainly contact us, let us know uh, any uh, compliance training or compliance needs that you might have. And we're here to help you be a success. And with that being said, thank you very much.